In this video, you will learn how to save the Premiere Pro projects with all the audio files, assets and other resources used in a particular project so that you can share that project with anyone or you can keep a backup of that project. Coming up. Hi everyone, I am Harshwadhan. Welcome to harshwadhanart.com. Have you ever thought of sharing your Premiere Pro project with someone and when you share that project with someone, it shows the missing media error or missing media files? That happens just because when you are sharing your Premiere Pro projects, you are just sharing the Premiere Pro project only and the assets and the files which are used in the Premiere Pro project are not sent with that. But if you are doing that manually, that would take you years to save and share that project, especially for the heavy projects. But there is a simple and easiest way in Premiere Pro where you can collect all the files and resources and assets used in a particular Premiere Pro project. And you can just keep a backup of that or you can share it with your friends or your team member so that he can also work on that. So in this video, I will show you exactly how you can do this. It's very easy and simple. But before we go any further, please hit the like button if you have any question or if you want to say something, leave that in the comment section below. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing for more amazing tips, tricks and tutorials. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, in order to save the Premiere Pro projects with all the files, assets and resources used in that particular project, first you have to open that Premiere Pro project. So once you have opened that Premiere Pro project, you can see that I want to just have the backup or the save this Premiere Pro project with all the files, resources and, and the assets used in this project. So as you can see, it has the video files, it has some titles, it has some uh, motion graphics you can see these are the motion graphics if I just play through you can see these are the motion graphics and there are cert certain titles some audios and some background music as well and I want to collect all of these and I want to save it so that I can share it with others or I can keep a copy of this so that later on if I have to make any changes I can do that so for that purpose what you have to do you have to just you have to go to the files and then select the project manager and that would open up this dialog box if you have the multiple sequence in your premiere pro project by default it's going to select the premiere pro sequence which you have just opened or which which was opened currently so if you have multiple sequences you will see all of these here and if you want to have the backup or want to save all of those sequences just make sure you check them and make sure that you select these first option collect files and copy to a new location and make sure these options are selected these are by default selected but if you don't want to exclude the unused clips which were not used in any sequence if you don't want to just exclude them just uncheck this so that way if you have some raw footage or raw clips which you have not used but you plan to use later on just make sure you uncheck this one and then select the include audio confirm files include preview files rename media files to match clip names that is selected by default if your image does not have any keyframes and other options these options would be grayed out and then what you have to do you have to select the destination path where you want to save it so if you click on the browse you can just select the path so i'm going to select the desktop in this case and select the the folder or i can create a new folder but i will select this select folder and then you have the option to calculate the project size so if you just click on the calculate it's going to analyze the project and it's going to show you that the original project size was 158.15 mb and the resulting project would also be of this size okay and thereafter you have to press the ok and it's going to take some time it's going to analyze the project and copying all the media to a new location so if you go back to the desktop so this is the desktop and over here you can see this is the project which we have just 
see it copied pixel r scratch art in it's going to rename it as copied and if you open this folder you will see that it's inside this folder or this project what we have you can see we have the pixel art for trace uh, this project uh, the first is the project <clears throat> So first we have is the project and then we have the audio previews, video previews and media cache. And if you want to just uh, reduce the size of these, you can just select and delete these as well. But uh, but when you will open or relaunch this project, it's going to take a little more while to create all these previews, audios and video previews and media cache. So that would cause you a little bit more time when you want to re-edit or when you want to update these this project all right so leave it as it is and then you have the this uh the infographics a graphics like and subscribe these were the graphics and uh, motion graphics i used in that and then we have the shape elements title elements audios audio wave files and this is the raw footage and uh, this is also uh, one clip and then uh, this is the image which i used and these are some other clips and then this is the jpeg file which was used in one of the motion graphics so this is a complete project so this is how you can completely save a project in premiere pro with all the files assets and the resources so thank you so much. I hope now you know how you can save your Premiere Pro projects with all the files, assets and resources used in that particular project. And you can share this with anyone and you will have the complete project rather than having just the Premiere Pro project file. So if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing for more amazing tips, tricks and tutorials. So thank you so much. Bye-bye. See you in the next video. Till then, keep shooting and unleash the creative in you. Bye-bye.